Here now, Republican Congressman Matt Gates, who sits on the committee responsible for bringing impeachment charges. And Juan Williams, Fox News political analyst and co-host of The Five. Good evening to both of you. Uh, Congressman Gates, I'll start with you first. So will Nancy Pelosi hold the line here? Nancy Pelosi is stuck between the general election voters, six out of 10 of whom do not support impeachment, and the woke left, where you have 70% of Democrat primary voters who are demanding impeachment. So it's really a lose-lose for the speaker. If she, in fact, impeaches, she will alienate the very voters that Democrats hope to earn back in the next election. And if she doesn't act on impeachment, she will likely suppress the enthusiasm that Democrats are counting on to match the enthusiasm that certainly President Trump has proven the ability to turn out on election day. There is no basis for impeachment. The president acted in public. He acted, uh, you know, largely as, the, as a consequence of no underlying crime. And he acted pursuant to his Article II powers. And so I think we ought to get on to the agenda that matters to the American people. But I doubt we will, because the Democrats will be answering to their cable news overlords on other networks. Well, one is right here. And I know you're chomping a bit to respond to that. But you might as well look at the latest uh, polling on this very issue of impeachment, because Juan, this is a CNN poll. It shows a majority of voters, 57%, agree that Congress should investigate whether Trump committed obstruction of justice. However, when compared to impeachment numbers in that same poll, 61% of voters were against impeaching and removing the president from office. So what does Nancy Pelosi do next? Well, I think that Congressman Gates is on target when he described the fact that I think it's 70 percent of Democrats think we should proceed with impeachment. It's the general public, and those are the numbers that you just uh, put up on the Th screen. Those, those numbers don't show up in Congress, Juan. It's not a majority of those Democrats in Congress. No. In fact, I think Politico today sampled and found that there were only a few Democratic Congress people who were behind impeachment at this juncture. But the question to me is a little different than the frame that Congressman Gates offered, I think it's a matter of whether or not the responsibility of Congress to exercise oversight and accountability on the executive is fulfilled by this Congress. If you let this president get away with what we heard he has done in terms of obstruction... Okay, oversight and accountability is one thing, but yeah, why but not, it, why get, not move forward with impeachment? Why? Well, I'm saying that's the question, because the politics of it, which is what the congressman laid out for you, Sandra, would suggest she's caught in a box here because there's pressure from her base to do it, but if she's thinking about unseating President Trump, she says, well, there's a contrary impulse from the larger uh, electorate. But I'm saying to you, there's also a question of congressional authority. The Congress is the number one right, branch of government, an equal branch of government, yeah, and they I, should I, not I, let I a strongly... president get away with obstruction of justice. Congressman? I strongly agree with the role of Congress to provide oversight, but frankly, after 22 months of an investigation into the president, why don't we spend a few months and figure out whether or not there was a corrupt origin of this investigation, whether or not there was information withheld from the FISA court? That would seem to be the more prominent question before us. And I would agree with Robert Mueller in his statement that the biggest threat here is not that the president acted inappropriately after being falsely accused. The biggest threat is that Russians are trying to interfere with our elections. We should hold hearings on those questions. We should work together as a, as a bipartisan Congress to try to react to and respond to that threat. And frankly, based on what I've heard from the DOD and the Department of Homeland Security and the FBI so far, we haven't taken that threat right. seriously well, enough. I'm so, so we proud of you that. because, you know what, what I hope that you, Congressman, would in fact lead Republicans in this juncture because I don't see that we are taking steps as a country, Republicans and Democrats, to prevent a repeat of Russian interference. Obviously, it benefited Republicans in the last election. We don't know where it goes next time. Well, I'm not You're so saying sure we you... need to do that now, and yeah, I couldn't we, we, agree look, more. We, we all have, the, yeah, and frankly, my Democrat colleague Stephanie Murphy and uh, Michael Waltz, uh, we're all working on legislation. See, that's where this right. was Hold impacted. on, I want to get back in here, because this is, this is the president earlier today. He was departing the White House and made comments on the lawn. And he was very targeted on his criticism on Robert Mueller. Here's the president earlier. Robert Mueller should have never been chosen because he wanted the FBI job and he didn't get it. And the next day he was picked as special counsel. So you tell somebody, I'm sorry, you can't have the job. And then after you say that, he's going to make a ruling on you. It doesn't work that way. Plus, we had a business dispute. Plus, his relationship with Comey was extraordinary. 
So that was the president doubling down on his criticism of Robert Mueller, saying he was totally conflicted uh, through this process. And he, he called him a never Trumper <laughs> congressman. I just wonder, you know, should should Jerry Nadler, House Judiciary, subpoena Robert Mueller? Is that going to happen? I know a lot of Republicans would be supportive of that because we have questions for Robert Mueller. It's a legitimate question to ask why Robert Mueller included a team of people that uh, had previously defended the Clinton Foundation against public records lawsuits and people like Andrew Weissman who had gone to Hillary Clinton's victory party. We should be able to ask those questions. How Robert Mueller treated the handling of evidence by Peter Strzok and Lisa Page who obviously manifested their bias against the president is another legitimate question. And so I think a lot of us were disappointed that we won't be hearing more from the special counsel and like well, we don't, I guess we don't it's know Robert Mueller's it. view that his report is like scripture yeah. like like it you know it has its own uh, it can't be questioned by anyone it's but you know, know let me just quickly one. say isn't this ridiculous to have the president of the United States absolutely dismissing and besmirching Robert Mueller who I think is widely respected even after he wants to tell us no collusion, no obstruction, look at the Mueller report, now he comes back and says, oh, that Mueller, he can't be trusted. You can't have it both ways, Mr. President. And I think it really suggests this is about bullying and just trying to distract people well, it'd be from the charges to see what against him. Well, what How do you answer that question? Should, should the Judiciary Committee subpoena Robert oh, Mueller? I because absolutely he, he said think he wanted so. the report you know, to have... for itself, and then he gave this So the statement. Congressman lays out questions that come from the right. I have a totally different set of questions. Why didn't you interview? President Trump. Why didn't you subpoena him if necessary? Why didn't you interview Donald right. Trump Jr.? There's several questions that need to be asked from any political point of view. And I don't think that Mueller has a right to simply say, I'm gone. Right. Look at the report. Well, I've got some questions, but they're not for you two anymore. I'm <laughs> done with you. All right. Matt Gates and Juan Williams, really appreciate your time tonight. Thank you. Thanks, You're welcome.